1969, I don't know if you can quite read that, but Rock and Roll Revival, Varsity Stadium, Toronto, with John Lennon's newly formed Plastic Ono Band. This was shortly after John and Yoko did the, the bed-in for peace there at the King Eddie in Toronto. And it was an outside concert uh, done in the summer of 69. And, uh, and of course, Eric Clapton was playing with him at the time. So it was a pretty interesting concert, uh, listening to uh, John do uh, you know some of the old rock and roll tunes, Elvis tunes, Blue Suede Shoes. Anyway, what I've got behind me on the left, I have a Lab Series amplifier. Uh, Lab Series were actually distributed by Gibson in the mid-70s, mid to late 70s. And they were designed by Bob Moog of Moog Synthesizer fame. I wanted to play this telly through this amp. So there's a... That's both pickups. of 1, 6, 10 that I've, that I've done in other videos. Suffice to say this thing is perfectly in tune. Still got the sting. So that's both pickups. Bridge pickup. So now Dean's got tons of traction. Couldn't do that before. There was nothing left of those original frets. say too that the Lab Series amp, uh, that's the thing that Al DiMiola and B.B. King have in common. These are the amps they use for years. But all of the Lab Series amps were essentially the same. There was the L9, the L7, the L5. This is the L9 which has got a single 15 EV cast aluminum basket speaker. It does everything I need an amp to do. folk gig, a classical gig, a, you know, name a gig, you can do it on this guitar now. So all of the left hand fingerboard gymnastics, vibrato, or trills, hammer-ons, pull-offs, it's all there. So essentially in a word, the higher fret gives you more traction, so, so it really activates the fingerboard. This thing plays great. Perfect. 